Hey! Hello, everyone. Sorry. Oh my god, I got some things I can make to you. Oh my god, one sec! Oh my god, I'm sorry! Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Ooh. <clears throat> Okay, how's everyone doing today? How is everyone doing today? Oh, oh. oh my god. Mari having a... <laughs> How is everyone doing today? I hope you are all doing well. I slept in. As usual <laughs> i i slept in but uh we're, we're here we're here and we're ready to roll uh so yeah oh boy i have no idea what is going to be in the headline today i believe that they did mention there was going to be a collab I think I, I I think they like wrote that in the description. Hi Dark. Also, um I did a small change for the stream, but hopefully that should be a good change. If you are on Twitch, next to the little cog wheel, there should be a CC button for closed captions. I now have live closed captioning. Of course, uh, some words might not pick up properly. And some, it might sound weird because, you know, I have an accent. Sometimes I talk fast. Um, but it should be, it should be pretty good. And it's, it's on the viewer's end. So the viewer themselves can set the closed captions it won't be on the stream directly but it won't like it won't bother anyone if you don't want it you don't have to put it if you want it you can put it but yeah I figured out how to do that and i was like you know what that's a good accessibility feature so let me do that Next would be learning how to then make that work for when I upload the VODs to YouTube. But yeah. That's a small change that I did, and I hope that it works out for everyone. Anyhow, let's get started. Welcome back, everybody, to NGS Headline. Good evening, everyone. It's Welcome back. So let's oh, get Hero. I like NGS Hero. Headline. I'm the host of this show, Hero Arrive. Is this too loud? NGS Navigator. Here to bring you the latest info on NGS. That felt like that was a bit loud. Sorry about that. Hero is finally here. And I hope everyone is enjoying <laughs> it's not saying it right. Version 2 has a variety of content centered mainly around the creative space. So be yeah. sure to check that out if you haven't yet. <clears throat> I had a chance to see what some arcs have made in the creative space, both in-game and on social media, and they were all very impressive and fun to look at. If you are also interested, please check that out too. Mm -hmm. Once again, this program is to inform players about the present and future of Sega's online RPG, PSO2 New Genesis, or NGS for short, with info on current operations, future updates, campaigns, and more. This is a pre-recorded broadcast. If you would like to watch it in Japanese, you can check it out on the Japanese NGS YouTube channel. 
which we will do after. We usually check Japanese broadcast after to see if they got anything different than us. <laughs> now I would like to share some information on the July updates. Let's start with the video. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh, funky music. <sighs> Anniversary even. There we go. The music is good. I hope we get the disc for that. <laughs> uh oh What is that? <laughs> My I don't think I'm awake enough for this. <laughs> what is going on? Uh... Okay. Okay, 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 we keep going. Oh my god, NGS Lily Pants. Okay, Revel Coat weapons. I like the way that the Revel Coat weapons look. Do. Ah! Stop clicking everything. Oof. Okay. The lily pins are back. Okay. Ooh, there is housing stuff. There is housing stuff. That's good. Okay, 11th anniversary scratch. So, are we... What are we getting in the 11th anniversary scratch? Oh, that's a cute ring. Umbrella. Okay. Yeah, those weapons look good. I like how they look. Snack valuable item. Mm. Quiz? Quiz. Yes or no? Oh! A literal quiz! Oh my god, so you defeat the enemy, you have to pay attention to what you fought, and then he'll ask you a question. What did you just fight? Okay. Okay, that's cute. You know what? That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty outfit. Okay, so if it goes like anything from last year, I hope that we can farm those tickets to get all the fashion because your girl will sure be doing that. Oh, yes, I will. No, not the feet. Ah, Sega. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a nice outfit. I like that. Oh, a little bit of lag. Not bad. That yes. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that outfit, because why not? <laughs> it's so silly, it's so cute! The fact that you can remove the ears, though, is cursed. <laughs> Yo! Lily Pan's going off hard. That hairstyle is cute. I have a feeling that Gil is gonna get that hairstyle. Oh, I wanted those guns for a long time. Now they're back. Ah. 
Lily? Oh, build parts and hologram. Oh my god, okay, that is- that is adorable. That is adorable, that is adorable. Don't care about the posters. I like that. I like that. The Hitsugi set is good. See, this is all from the 11th SP scratch, so this is all, like, stuff that we can hopefully farm to get the tickets, right? Because if we can run the limited time quest to farm this to get tickets, uh, yeah, I will be doing that because your girl need your girl needs to scratch. Mm -hmm. Urgent! Oh, new urgent quest. Oh. <gasps> We get to the fight that thing as an urgent quest? Oh my god. Okay, that's pretty sick. That 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 headline is pretty sick. Just depends when it is since I'm in holiday next week. Oh yeah. I mean, we'll figure it out. You know I'm gonna be doing this for more than just one day, especially if we're gonna get scratch tickets out of this. <laughs> I got my new chair. I'm ready to roll. <laughs> oh. <gasps> I need that. That's cute. I need that. That's cute. I need that. That's cute. I need that. I need that. I need that. Oh my god. It's so adorable. Is that a chicken? That's a chicken. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> you know what? I like that. Made outfit. Okay. I like that it has shorts. Uh, put, the, put those. Oh. T1 made outfit. Let's go, fanboys. Oh. <gasps> Yo, that is. That is a really, really. But what is that waist in those arms? Oh lord. Oh lord. I think this is the first helm that ever came out for T1 that is not like full on cast. Like you actually get to see the face. Those ears are crazy. Ooh, that's some pretty hair. I like the short hair. Shoes, ring, belt, bow. Little bear! Look at the little bear! Fan of those wacky arms? Yeah, I knew you'd like it. Oh, that cap. I need to get that cap. Sports. Destroyed pant. Okay. Lipstick? Lips, <laughs> two lipstick, um, lines for the paint, eyebrows, eyes, and eyelashes. Oh my god, shell bed. Okay, that's. Mm. Yo, the stars, the stars are a portable hologram now? Oh. Huh. <clears throat> That's a cute item. <gasps> I'm gonna need that. <laughs> I'm gonna need that. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so adorable. I like the little stars glittering in the back. Oh my god, that is so adorable. Week number two. Fortress in the forest. Ooh. Yeah, you're- I'm gonna be doing so much. I'm gonna be doing so much limited time quest. Hi, Jay! Hope work is doing well for you. I'm so happy! Oh, new HD Scratch? We finally get the Crawford item. We finally, we're finally getting the Crawford item. We're finally getting the Crawford items. Oh my God. One sec, chat.
I was running out of breath. Crawford took my breath away. No. <laughs> You'll be back on the 15th. We'll figure it out, Dart. You know that we were going to be running this for more than one freaking day. Hell yeah. Ooh. Crawford items finally in the game. You know what? That outfit is not so bad without the cape. Ooh. Uh, other man and clone. <laughs> All right. Ooh. That that set is so sick. You telling me that we can wear that? I'll be using Wi-Fi for a while. Don't worry about it. Yo. The pedo. The fido or the pedo? Yo, that's sick. Oh, we get in the Crawford mole? Grills? Those are grills. Oh my god. What are those ears things? Oh, it's just for regular ears though. It's not for like... Ah, oh, damn it. I like when they do like piercings, but they all do it for regular ears. Like, I want piercings for like the long Newman ears. No PSO for two weeks. Oh. Yeah, I'll be back in due time. <laughs> Poses, yeah. I like that idol. I like that idol better than the sweat idol. Yeah, it seems like July is gonna be really packed. Ooh, there's color variants of the Alio swimsuits. <clears throat> Damn, that is a really packed two weeks. What did you think? Let me walk what do you think? With some slides. Starting with this. On July 4th, the PSO2 series will celebrate its 11th anniversary since the official launch of the PC version in Japan. Wow. 11 years. The arcs and their support. Thank you so much. To further express our gratitude, we will be holding an event to commemorate our 11th anniversary starting July 5th. Okay, so the event starts July 5th, which is next week, so yeah. Oh, okay, Jay, take it easy, all right? You have a good one at work. Come celebrate the 11th anniversary with Central City, Region Mags, and Rappies adorned Good in... Good luck and have fun. Thank you. Fireworks ...in various locations. Shiandi will also be dressed up to navigate the seasonal event. She's been investigating the mysterious lily pans, life forms that have appeared in the Alio region. So please talk to her about that. Seremo Rappi and Seremo Emperor Rappi will also be joining us this year to celebrate the 11th anniversary. During the event, the enemies that appear in Elio will become seasonal enemies. Defeat them to get seasonal points and collect as many as you can to get various items at Shiandi's seasonal points exchange shop. No point hunting again. Please note at this time, you will only be able to earn seasonal points in the open fields of the Alio region. Okay, so we won't be able to obtain points from doing limited quests. Hmm, might be able to jump on from time to time. I don't know if I'm taking my laptop. Yeah, no worries. We'll, fi we'll figure it out. <laughs> Among the items available are build parts featuring anniversary symbols, accessories based on star gems, and different color versions of motion change items. Going back to the old fashion of farming in the field. PSO2 11th SP Scratch. The Revel Coat series, an alternative color version of the Evil Coat series, will be available in all categories as this seasonal event's weapon. 
Oh, so that's why it looked good. It was just the different Evo coat. Huh. Potentials unlocked up to level six, and with five slots worth of augments, so they can be used right away. Hey. The augment Sezun Elev Seramofiv is effective against seasonal enemies. What in the name? Sezun Elev Seramofiv. So it's not a CV. So it's not a CV. But it it is a direct recolor. Like it's a new weapon, but using um older another weapon, like something like that. It's his own weapon. Limited time tasks <laughs> that coincide with it's its own weapon, but it's also a color variant of its own weapon. Complete them to get valuable items such as PSO2 11th SP scratch tickets, arms refiner 2, photon chunk 2A and 2B, etc. Okay. So the limited time quest does give tickets. It gives arms refiner 2, which I need arms refiner 2. And it gives, yeah, yeah, so I'll definitely be spamming the limited time quest. Uh, it does suck that the limited time quest does not seem to give seasonal points. So, like, from what I understand, you can only get seasonal points from farming in the field. So we're going to have to do a lot. We'll also be adding title tasks at the same time with titles that are only available during this period. In conjunction with the PSO2 11th anniversary event, Arcs will also be able to take on the limited time quest, Nazun's Big Quiz Part 1. In this quest, you can earn points by answering NGS themed quizzes given by the quiz master, Nazun. Whoa. Sorry, I'm hearing a lot of loud noise inside. There's just a random loud noise. That was so loud. It sounded like it was red, like, going in my ears. Okay, sorry about that. The quizzes vary from answers that can be found easily at the ARC's bases to ones that require in-depth knowledge of various areas of planet Halfa. So you can enjoy them again and again. <laughs> That's fun, though. Your little quiz. We really hope you'll enjoy this limited time quest. We'll also be holding ARC's records for Trania. The I don't record. really care for the ARC's record. Never did. Don't think I ever will. In Alio for all classes. Strengthen your equipment and aim for your own fastest clear time. The PSO2 11th SP Scratch will include NGS spec avatar items featuring Lilipans, Enga, and Hitsugi from PSO2. In addition, the weapon camo Phantom Gun and Divine Blade Ame no Murakumo are coming back as color variant weapons that reflect their effect colors. Okay, that's cool. But that's not all. In addition, Persona and Matui avatar items with NGS specs that were only available in last year's PSO2 10th anniversary SP Scratch are also coming back. Ah, hey, things that were only available last year are coming back this year again to bloat your chances of getting items. Woo! Well, if you missed out on them last time. <sighs> here's your chance. Other items in the lineup include a new music disc, as well as portable holograms based on Lilipans and Hitsugi. So be sure to earn a ton of seasonal points and exchange them for more and more SP scratch tickets to win many prizes. The urgent quest, Remnants of Ambition, is heading your way. Acquire Genesis points through limited time task in the creative space. Why is that on the same window as the urgent quest, though? <laughs> that, that was confusing. This quest is a fight inside Le Ciel with the boss enemy... Le Ciel! Like the boss okay, that's pretty cool. Fedo Venogia encountered in the story quest, this is a battle against a powerful enemy that launches a variety of attacks. 
you know that this quest will occur in the Kavaris region, so be sure to keep an eye out for Kavaris region urgent quests. You know what? That looks like a fun limited time quest, though. I I will try that out for sure. We've also got a new title task. <coughs> Furthermore, we've added a limited time task to the creative space where you can earn Genesis points. Now it's time to show off our latest AC scratch ticket, Designer Dreams, July 2023. This ticket is the third round of winning entries from the PSO2 10th Anniversary Item Design Contest. Get ready for a gaggle of unique and charming user submitted gaggle a gaggle oh my gosh this scratch count bonus includes an alternative version of the star riding motion change item included in the scratch ticket prizes so be sure to check that out as well also although not shown in the video a cartload of past sg scratch ticket prizes from ngs are making a comeback in the revival sg scratch ticket halfa revival july 2023 releasing on july 5th what's more we're also making a free version of this ticket during the scratch ticket release window you can draw up to a whopping 10 times a day for free that's good in every day to get tons of avatar items and more Touch grass without all the bugs in the limited time quest. The fortress in. Did he say touch grass? Did he say touch grass? Did he just tell me to touch grass? Touch grass without all. He did. <laughs> I just got told to touch grass. He got told to touch grass. Oh my god. I can't believe Hero told us to touch grass. All the bugs in the limited time quest, the fortress in the forest. Wow. <laughs> this quest takes place in Wrestle Forest, and up to four people can play together. A group of arcs receive a distress signal from a convoy and head out to rescue them. <clears throat> Four player limited time quests. You'll encounter okay. warfare geos and many other powerful enemies, so be sure to use the Hindrous Lilies and other game mechanics to your advantage. Lilies? Gonna be fighting with Lilies? Limited time tasks are also on the way. Complete quests to earn seasonal points and PSO2 11th SP scratch tickets. Okay. So, we can do the limited time quest to earn SP ticket starting the second week. And more tickets, which your girl's gonna be doing. We're also holding ARC's records for field races. This time, the target will be South Alio Dash, Stage 1, Solo. To join in, all you have to do is play this field race while the event is ongoing. Although not shown in the video, <coughs> welcome Siege. The 11th anniversary of PSO2 with the Revival AC Scratch Ticket, 11th anniversary memories. This ticket features an assortment of re released hair. Oh, Siege. Um. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've added a live closed captioning to this. It's not directly on the video. Uh, if you like look at the page at the bottom on Twitch, there's like a cog wheel and then next to it, there's a CC button. So that is for live closed captioning. It was something that I found out earlier this week and I was like, you know what? Let me do that. Yeah. What do you think? You on mobile? Does it show on mobile? <laughs> uh. Well, I was like, you know what? It is something very easy to do. And I was like, why not? Because I know that sometimes people like, it's not working on mobile. Okay, well, that's, that's, 
Twitch's problem, not mine, if that's not working on mobile. <laughs> um, wait, yes, it is. Oh, okay, there you go. Um, but yeah, like, I know that you often say that, like, you watch the streams, but I, you have me muted. But at least now with the closed captioning, you can kind of have an idea of what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> so, yeah. It was very easy. I can see the closed captioning, like, myself as I'm talking right now. I know that some words are not being, like, picked up. Like, if I say arcs. Yeah, so like, ARCs, NGS, PSO2, yeah, see, that kind of like comes out weird. Earlier when I said ARCs, it uh, wrote it as ART. <laughs> that was 50 years of the kingdom, I'm free of it now. Well, you know what I mean, like, in the future or whatever, anyway. Let's resume. I just wanted to let you know that I did that little change because I know that you would have you you're gonna be like, see, good stuff. <laughs> styles, accessories, well, we and emotes from PSO2 characters. characters. At the same time, we'll also be releasing ticket version 11th anniversary memories, which can be drawn using dedicated tickets obtainable during the scratch ticket release window. Aside okay. The scratch count bonus, the prize oh, oh, okay. So it's one of those where it's like, hey, like if you if you log in, you're gonna get a ticket so that you can get the free version of it. Blah blah. blah. Okay. Welcome back, Dark will be the same as the regular scratch ticket. Items won from these scratch tickets, including the ticket versions, are eligible for item recycle in NGS blocks. New avatar items for Crawford, Zepedo, Feria, and more will be added to the SG scratch <coughs> ticket, Resurgent Force. I'm glad that we finally have the Crawford outfits. I feel like that's been with a like, win rate boost of up to 1.5 times. The scratch count been waiting for that for a long time. Motion change, motion idle stretch. So keep your peepers peeled. Keep your peepers peeled? Keep your peepers peeled? First he told us to, to touch grass. Now he's telling us to keep our peepers peeled. Peeled. Oh my god. What is up with this headline? Next up is the mission pass, NGS Season 22. Season 22, can you believe it? Forms, stamps, and accessories. The lineup this time also includes valuable items like personal shop use, three days, and SG scratch ticket price slips. Why did it say this time this will include valuable? I like those are always available. Those are always available. Why did he make it sound like it was something new? Notable rewards include an accessory that has the same appearance as the back unit Ivlida from PSO2 and the mag form Tibron, which can transform to look like a mechanical fish. I don't know what both of those now things are. Chance to snap these up. Those are all the updates for the first half of July. Okay. Let's move on to the updates for the second half of the month. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> July update information two. That music is. Ooh, more BP item. Oh my god. Are those weapon camos? <laughs> Are those weapon camos? What the heck? <laughs>
Do they squeak on... Oh my god. You know what? That'd be pretty nice. I like that square thing. Drill quest, remnants of ambition. Good. There's a drill quest version of it. Alright, that's pretty... Ooh! Exotic summer night. Why did the music get like... Okay. Okay, okay. I see you. Whoa. That's not what I meant to do. That's a good swimsuit for T1. Oh my lord. Girly girl. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot of cheek. <laughs> oh, that's a cute you cut. I love how it's just like booty and then cute little yukata. <laughs> I like the hair though. The the yeah, I like that hair. I'm gonna get that hair. Sandals. What's that? Oh, like thunder effect and then like a snow effect. Oh, uh, end version of the pigtails, uh, shoulder things, nails, and feet. Necklace, bag thingy, socks, garters, garters, garters. Ooh. <laughs> what did I just walk into? PSO2 NGS Horny Sim no. <laughs> uh, It's just the uh, PSO NGS are just showing off like the new stuff that's coming out. Like for example, like the tattoos on the chest, which is a body paint, new eyebrows, new eyes. Ooh, that that first eye is really pretty, and then new eyelashes. Beard, makeup, makeup, makeup. Three, three different makeup. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a sick staff. I'm gonna need that staff. How's life been? Same as usual. <laughs> Same as usual. <laughs> <clears throat> I like that staff. I'm gonna get that staff. PR pose nine. Okay. Banana. Banana. You got a chair. <laughs> you you making it sound like a uh, like Zelda? Like you find an item and it's like you got a chair. Yeah, I have a new chair because my old chair kept breaking and then it broke to the point of no repair and my roommate was like. Let's get you a proper chair. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Ooh, bored idol. I like that idol. Yo! <laughs> Banana boat. <laughs> Banana boat. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. I think I might go for that banana boat. That is hilarious. Dash graceful. Ooh, that's cute. I like how it sways from side to side. Second half week two. Ooh, we haven't had one of these in forever. That's good because we're gonna need that SG. Quiz part two. All right. Whoa, what is that thing? Ooh! 
I don't think I ever fought one of those. Okay. Perfect for your pool. <laughs> yeah. What did you think? Okay, that was... That, damn. That went pretty fast. From July 19th. Oh, the Rappy Claws. Oh, it's an accessory. Item glide, umbrella, special scratch tickets, augment capsules, and more will be added to the seasonal points. But it's not a weapon camo, it's an accessory. <laughs> We're also adding new limited time tasks along with this exchange shop refresh. You can earn seasonal points and PSO2 11th SP scratch tickets for completing limited time quests. Okay. And exchanging items at the exchange shop. At the exchange shop. Yeah. In addition, we're making a trigger quest version of the urgent quest Remnants of Ambition called Drill Remnants of Ambition. Yes. In this quest, <laughs> You'll battle the powerful boss enemy, the Nogia Vera. So gather your friends and take on the challenge. We'll also be holding another Arcs Records for field races. And don't really care about the Arcs Record. Central Retum Board, Stage 1, Solo Course. Same as the Arcs Records in Part 1, you can participate simply by playing the course during the event period. Next up is the new AC Scratch Ticket, Exotic Summer Night. Exotic Summer Night. In addition to outfits such as Japanese patterned swimwear, loose-fitting jinbei, traditional Japanese loungewear, and lace yukata. Jinbei. Oh my god, I thought he said gym bag. The jinbei. will include an alternate version of the motion change item Graceful, so keep an eye out for that as well. I really thought he said gym bag. Starting July 26th, See, you can play the quiz quest. seems fun. I'm not going to front. The quiz seems fun. The rules are the same as in Part 1, but in Part 2, there are more unique quizzes, such as the Guess the Quintuplet quiz, in which the Kavaris Quintuplets make an appearance. Quintuplets, jeez. Where you try to... Four women giving birth to Quintuplets. Howdy, howdy, folks. How y'all been these last few weeks? Hey, so, so. I finally got my new chair, though, so I've been sitting comfortably. <laughs> I've been sitting comfortably. We're also adding limited time tasks along with this quest. A lot of tasks. Limited time. By completing these tasks. You task this, task that, task this. Quiz. Where in the world are we? The Arcs records for another field race. Eh, uh, field race this, field race that. North Retum Board, Stage 1, Solo. You can participate by taking on the field race during the event period. That's all for the July update information. That was a little short. I feel like there, there, there's, there's more to come. Yes. Like, that was the second half of the July update, and that was really, really short. But today, I will also present the roadmap for the second half of 2023. Oh, okay, okay. As I've previously mentioned, in July, an event commemorating the 11th anniversary of PSO2 will be held. Sci-fi anime. And other activities. Next, in August. A new type of standing quest will be available for up to eight people as a multi-party challenge. Okay. This is a random dungeon using the Lucille interior map that appeared in Chapter 5 of the story. Making it a quest that can be enjoyed over and over again. Isekai anime. We'll also have a new ultra-high difficulty uh. standing quest for parties to take on. Anime broadcast? Super high difficulty dual quest. This one is not a quest to be conquered by preparing specialized equipment, but rather a quest to be taken on with your own strongest equipment, the stuff you normally use. There okay, so yeah, they did say um, Alliance Spaces, Redham Motive Based Terrain, a new build. Okay, 
So random motive based terrain, does that mean that we can change from like alio to redem? Like if we want to have a desert? Let's try it. Forgot about the chairburg and glad to hear you're enjoying the comfort of the new one. Oh god. I've been sitting on like cardboard chairs for like ages and this chair has like actual cushioning and I'm like, oh my god, my ass feels like it's on heaven. Don't take this out of context. <laughs> Uh, alliance spaces, yeah. Okay. There will also be a new boss enemy exclusive to this quest. Ooh, new boss enemy. In the creative space, an alliance space will be added, which can be shared by alliances. That's good. It will have all the features of the personal creative space. In addition, while the terrain in the creative space currently follows an alio motif, a new terrain will be added based on retum. Okay, so we can change it to write them if we want. Same way as build parts. Okay. Genesis points. Genesis points. We'll have to farm that, I guess. We'll be adding a number of new build parts. Plus, a total of six limited time quests will be available during August and September. Six. Okay. In August, we have plans for a collab with a popular isekai anime, which involves a parallel world as well as a collab in September with a new anime that just started airing in 2023. Next, in October or November, we'll be adding a new high rank to the Retum region, as well oh. as a number of new starlets. Oh. A third dual quest, a new urgent quest, and four limited time quests are also on the way. Okay. See, I thought that we would, like, leave alpha and then we would go into space and beyond and see other planets but it seems like for chapter six at the very least we're still staying on alpha so uh, i don't know i hope eventually we'll be visiting other places because how many times are we going to visit the same how many times are we going to visit the same place over and over and over like it's been two years and we're still in the same space and we plan to expand the Alliance Space feature and add unique features for Alliances to enjoy. Okay. Also inbound, collabs with popular science fiction anime and popular science fiction toy products. Toy products. In December, you can look forward to another ultra high difficulty standing party quest, as well as a fourth dual quest and a limited time quest just in time for Christmas. Christmas! Mary Chrysler. We're planning a collab with a popular action anime too. Chapter six of the story started in June and will get an update every two months. So keep an eye out for new developments. Hmm. That concludes what we can show of the roadmap for now. Okay. But rest assured, that a lot more new content, enhancements, and improvements are also in the works. I hope so. To look forward to. Mm -hmm. We'll be sure to keep you posted as details become available. Uh. Today, we would also like to show you a teaser trailer of the ultra high difficulty party quest that will be released in August. Okay. On the roadmap. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Reviewing the intel, but we're expecting a gigantic starless to emerge shortly. Oh, ew. Was that the ultimate Dark Falls? Oh my. The music. Oh, you have to do jumping puzzles on top of that? Oh, whoa. 
dark yeah that's what i thought dark actual dark falls the actual dark falls because the dolls if you've played the game and looked at the story which i'm sure all of us have done the dolls were to prepare us for the real enemies so everything that we fought so far which were dolls were just preparation so the dark falls starless is the real dark falls that's interesting but then again here goes the thing like we we thought that after like we were done with most of this area that we would go to a new planet and no it seems like we're being kept on alpha even longer <sighs> I'm looking forward to fighting the new Dark Falls class of Starless. What did you think? This is an extremely difficult quest that is said to be almost impossible to complete on the first play. Uh -huh. It's a standing quest that can be attempted as many times as you like. So make sure your equipment is in tip-top shape. I don't like the sound of that. Impossible to clear on your first try. <laughs> That's, all for the update info. That's not a flex. Let's move on to the next segment. Oh boy. Oh boy. For this segment, the NGS Operation Report. I, Hero, arrive. Select questions and All right. from players. Here we go, question time. And live operation teams and bring you their answers. Here's question number one. Would it be possible to erase the border lines displayed for areas that cannot be entered when taking screenshots? Here is our team's... Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We plan on expanding the options by including non-UI elements such as border lines to the slash UI off command and the hide UI option for easy photo mode in a future update. It is a very superficial question, but I understand why it's a question. Please take advantage of this feature when taking screenshots. That was their answer. This will make it possible to take screenshots in places that players may have given up on in the past. We hope all you photographers out there enjoy this edition. Hmm. Let's move on to the next question. I would like numerical values to be shown for the adjust physique option in the salon. Accessories are easier superficial to question again, but I can understand. It would be easier to make adjustments if the sliders for changing my character's physique also had a number shown. Here's what the team had to say. In response to your request, we are in the process of implementing a numerical notation system, although it will be limited to NGS blocks. Mm. We appreciate your patience until this can be implemented. Okay. That is their answer. Here is the next question. I want to ask about concert effects. Can you make it so we can receive them even if we are outside the cities? So I wouldn't say to receive them outside of the cities, but to receive them while you're inside your creative space would be nice, especially if you have like a TV installed. Like, what if you have like a special item, which is like a, a broadcast TV, like the big jumbotron that we have in the city, where we could put that in our creative space and then like we could see whatever plays on it. And when we have a concert, we could watch the concert from our creative space. That would be something that I think would be pretty nice. Here's the response from the team. We are considering adding specifications for Nadira's concert events that would allow players to complete a special title task after having participated a certain number of times. From that point on, they would receive concert effects even when outside the city. Okay. That's their answer. We eh. want to receive concert effects, but it can be tough to participate when they're held, so this is great news. Okay. Like said, if you've yet to attend any of Nadira's concert events, I would encourage you to attend one. Let's look at the next question. I can't seem to generate high-level add-on skills. Could you make okay, it easier yeah. to do so? I understand this question. We plan on adding an add-on skill generation that will have a higher effect level limit when generated compared to what it is now in a future update. 
That was their answer. Here's the next question. Would it be possible to raise the levels of presets? Here is our team's response. We are planning to implement an enhanced preset skills feature to the item lab in a future update. This feature will allow players to select a base item and material item and perform an enhancement, which will have a set chance to increase the level of the preset skill by one. The required material item must be weapons that can be multi-weaponized or armored. Multi-weaponized. Above the level of the base item. Oh wait, wait! The preset skills, like the fixes. Wait, so we can like actually raise the level of fixes. So let's say you have a level one, you could raise it to level four potentially. Oh, okay. These will be consumed whether the enhancement succeeds or fails. That was their answer. Okay. Presets, so I'm glad to have this. This may be a good opportunity for you to try playing with weapons other than those you're skilled with. Please wait for this feature's implementation. That's not too bad. I would like to see a stronger crackdown on abandonment and other disruptive behavior. <laughs> this is the response from our operations team. We will investigate and confirm cases of abandonment and other disruptive disruptive behavior in violation of public order and take action as required, such as banning accounts. As per our terms of service, we will continue... Oh, wait. The quality went down. Sorry about that. ...stricter penalties for players who engage in disruptive behavior. If you observe any disruptive behavior while playing, please report it with our in-game reporting feature. That was their answer. That's hmm. it for Q&A today. Moving forward, I will continue to select and bring your questions and feedback to the development and operations teams and... All I'll say in that regards is that they need to improve their customer service because i've known so many people that have been permanently banned even though they've had no previous strikes or nothing and it's like well if you're gonna permanently ban your players like why do you do it on the first shot like you should have like a strike system where it's like oh hey you've been like temporarily banned five times so the next time you're gonna be permanently banned like it's unfair especially considering how much time and how much money some of these people put towards the game and i also wish that the like you can um what's the word you can message people the like the customer service to like be like hey I i'd like to uh I forgot the word, but pretty much appeal. Appeal is the word. I'd like to appeal and like see like why was I banned? Can I have a chance to improve like my my actions? Like there's none of that. It's like you get permanently banned on the first shot, and it's like how are you supposed to learn from that? Like there's no learning from that. You you lose your entire account, and it just makes people upset. And you're already like losing players and by doing stuff like that you just kill your player base like if you're gonna permanently ban people at the very least like be upfront about it and just be like yeah this is why you got permanently banned because some people have been permanently banned and they don't even know why and it's not a good look like it makes everyone unhappy about this and it like especially when you have someone which is in a group a group of friends it's like the whole group of friend now is just like oh crap like we all hang out and we all do the same thing together but one of us got bans and we don't even know what it is so like we're all scared like who is gonna get banned next i don't think it's really fair and i do hope that they improve their customer service so that at the very least like <sighs> people can appeal or get a reason like why was i banned can i have an appeal uh can like it like 
hey, like, you don't have to undo the permanent ban, but you could at least change it to, like, to be a temporary ban. Like, hey, you'll be temporary banned for three months, and after three months, you'll come back to the game. And if you get another case, then you'll get permanently banned. Like, stuff like that. Like, I wish... That is, that is the one thing that I'll say about that last question, because a lot of people that I know, a lot of friends, have been permanently banned from the game, and... It sucks, especially when a lot of us are really, like, we really like the game. We like to hang out with our friends, and now it's like, we don't want to start over, especially considering that a lot of the items that our character had are near impossible to get now. But yeah, that's that's my two word on that. Share their answer. Two word, two cent, whatever. Please also let us know your thoughts about this show and the game with the hashtag NGS Headline on Twitter and other platforms. Moving on to the next segment. NGS Satellite Information. Now let's move on from updates and talk about some other NGS related info. I'm sure it'll get you even more excited for the game. Let's get started. We'll have to see. Sega will be holding an exhibit at an anime festival in North America, Anime Expo 2023. Okay. From July 1st to July 4th in Los Angeles, California. The visitor bonus items. I don't think they're new. I don't think none of those are new. Just like last year, this will be your chance to buy NGS merch. We'll also be giving visitors cards with item codes, so please come to our booth early as the number of cards is limited. We look forward to seeing you all there. Next, I have some more info on the merch for Anime Expo 2023. Mm. Putting up two types of exclusive goods for sale. We'll have t-shirts with cool graffiti designs available. That t-shirt just looks like the version of what Japan got with the Edwin collab. Kinda. Additionally, badges featuring NGS second anniversary illustrations will be sold in a set of three for $9.98 before tax. And this is so-so. will only be available there, so be sure to come check it out. Now let's move on to the August collab info I mentioned earlier with the roadmap. Uh, there we go. Collab information. We are proudly announcing the collab with Uncle from Another World. Uncle from... And new Isekai, alternate dimension, comedy anime. In addition to avatar items, weapon camo, and emotes, we plan to release items for creative space, such as build parts, stamps, mm. and portable holograms. Following is a quick introduction to Uncle from Another World. Of course he got hit by a truck. Uncle recently awoke from a 17-year-old coma after being hit by a truck. The story is based on a comic by Hotondo Shindeiru that has sold more than 3.3 million copies, including digital versions. Fall, 2017. <laughs> Uncle recently awoke from a 17-year coma after being hit by a truck. Takafumi Takaoka, his nephew, came to the patient room and found that Uncle was a... speaking an unrecognizable language. That was a weird pause. From another world. Yeah, that is a really weird pauses. This is how the story begins. Oh my god. Uncle from another world. This That's collaboration with a franchise that has shown its love towards Sega is scheduled to take place in August 2023. Oh, because it has a Sega Genesis? <laughs> Here, I'll introduce the campaign schedule to start on July 4th. We will be holding a keyword giveaway starting July 4th to celebrate the PSO2 11th anniversary. Gold Rappy! will be shared via our official Twitter account. 
So say it in game to get a golden rappy plush. PSO2 11th I know that they're going to start putting the golden rappy plush everywhere in my house. Moreover, you can also receive a special scratch ticket. We'll also hold a campaign where you can draw 10 free SG scratch tickets a day after the end of scheduled maintenance on July 5th. As we also launch a use the salon to your heart's content campaign at the same time, we hope you will enjoy trying different styles when you get new outfits and hairstyles. What's more, a limited time login bonus will be available as well after the end of scheduled maintenance on July 5th that will okay. include the newly implemented okay. portable holograms, plus stamps, weapon camo, and more. A screenshot submission campaign on social media will also begin on July 5th. Please post a screenshot of your favorite creative space on Twitter. You will have a chance to be one of the 40 selected winners to receive 1000 SG and an end color change pass as prizes. From July 13th, we will hold a campaign where the new urgent quest, Remnants of Ambition, will happen. Also during this campaign, part of the live concert from PSO2 Blocks will be shown in NGS Blocks as a movie concert at pre-announced dates and Movie times. concert? There's also another campaign starting on July 13th where you can earn two special AC scratch tickets per day by completing tasks. Moreover, the World Trial Stellar Grace Recovery Operation will open- We haven't had a Stellar Grace in a while, so that's pretty cool. Various boost campaigns will launch accordingly during the campaign period starting July 5th. In part one, a drop item preset skill rate plus 110% boost will be in effect in all sectors and quests. In part two, we will provide seasonal points, rare drop rate, drop item preset skill rate, and other boosts in the limited time quest, the fortress in the far. He said boots. <laughs> in part three, seasonal points and rare drop rate boosts will be available in the limited time quest, Nazun's Big Quiz, part two. That's good. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. Weird. The last piece of info I have for you today is about the login gift coming on July 5th. Ooh! Nice! Vocals for the instrumental song Music Disc! Darkness, which was performed at Sympathy 2023, will be released as a vocal version in a music disc. That's we nice. We giving it out to everyone who logs in to the game during the campaign period. So don't miss out on this opportunity and enjoy the music with vocals. Thank you! Thank you, Sega. That's all for this episode of NGS Headline. Please share your thoughts and feedback on this program and the game using the hashtag NGS Headline. Together, we can make NGS an even more fantastic game. We could if you listen to us. Of the users. I will continue to work with the development. <laughs> Not you, hero, but like you as in Sega. Everyone, and I look forward to your continued support. The next episode of NGS Headline will be on Tuesday, July 25th. We will focus on the August updates. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now then, ARCs, I'll see you at the next NGS Headline. So... Okay, I guess it makes sense now. Um, a lot of people were like, last month, were like, hey, like, June is very dry. There's not a lot of things coming out. Like, we thought there would be more content coming out for the game, not just creative spaces, right? And um, I guess it does make sense that they did not want to put out too many things considering that July is very much focused on the 11th anniversary uh, for PSO. So that does make a little bit more sense. Um, that just means that August has to really come through, right? August has to be a really good month for content-wise 
Um, but as far as we can see, when we were looking at the uh, roadmap over here, so when we were looking at the roadmap, from what I can understand, like this right here, it says new high rank in Redem. So from my understanding, we're not leaving the planet anytime soon. We're, we're going to stay on the planet. We're going to be doing more things on Alpha. And if, if it takes us from... Uh, like another six months just to get a new high rank in Redem. Is it going to take us another six months to get new high rank in the other region and then Stia? So is it going to be another like year and a half before we leave the planet? Because like that that's the thing that a lot of us are wondering. It's like, are we staying on Alpha forever? And if we are staying on Alpha forever, that is a very very limited gameplay compared to base PSO which had more flexibility with being able to visit a lot of different biomes and planets and stuff like that so it's like if we're stuck on alpha forever like yeah it is more open space than the ship in base PSO but it's also very restricting in a way like you say that this is an open space game but we've had the same open space for the last two years and a lot of us are bored of that like yeah like i get it like the headline was boring because the headline was focused on the anniversary event like aside from the anniversary event there's nothing to the game, but that's that's the thing with NGS. NGS has always done this. It's nothing new, where a lot of the time the content is focused on events, uh, limited time quest, uh, seasonal events. Like that, that's always been NGS. Like it's been two years, and this is the formula. It's like we'll have months that are focused on nothing but limited time quest, seasonal events, and all that stuff. That's fine. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, Sega have shown that that's that's their recipe, right? That that that's how they do. But like I said, I hope that means that August is gonna bring us more. Like for example, like the the multi party quest, uh, which well, from what we can see, is Dark Falls Starless. Um, limited time quest. We don't know what the limited time quests are. Uh, the Isekai anime is the uncle from another world anime i i, I don't know how I, I, i've never watched that anime so i don't know about it we'll have to see when that comes out um but like alliance spaces and red and modus bases and you build part for creative space like that's cool but like i hope that they don't make creative space like the only reason to play NGS because then that's gonna dry out really quickly because a lot of us it's like hey we we've finished our creative spaces we've already done it but like I was under the inception that we would be able to save our creative spaces like for example oh I've done this I've finished this creative space I can save the data for it like I can save data for a character outfit and then I can like start over and make a new like look and i can change them like whenever i want i thought i was going to be more like that but no it's only like a specific region that you can save and once you save it you can't delete it you have to keep it on your your map so i i do hope that in the future they can maybe bring something along the line of like being able to save an entire build so that, like, if you want to try something different, you can just save it and then start over without fearing of having to build everything all over again. Like, that is something that I would like to see for the creative space. Um, But yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen the interview. I don't have the link, but they're... From what I understood... I'm not sure if this is like entirely true. I'm not sure if this is confirmed. Like this might be entirely s speculation. Like supposedly, allegedly, 
uh, an ex employee from Sega was saying that they were focusing on creative space for the entire two years of the game. They were not focusing on story, they were not focusing on gameplay, they were focusing on creative space for the entire game. Which, if that is true, if that is allegedly tr true, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I don't want NGS to just be creative space. Like, yeah, the creative space is awesome, but I don't want it to be the only thing in the game. Like, you look at Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah, there's housing, but it's not the only thing in the game, right? There's so much to do. And I, I really hope that okay if that is allegedly true that creative space was the the only focus for the past two years and everything else was just a, a, a plus one type thing i hope that now that the creative space is out i hope that they can actually focus on other things like i like that that made me a little sad to hear because it's like yeah the creative space is nice i i like it like I, I enjoy content like this. Like, I'm someone that played Animal Crossing for hours on end. Like, I have 2,000 hours on Animal Crossing. Like, I, I like building houses on Final Fantasy as well. Like, I like doing stuff like that. So, while I find a creative space to be very endearing and I can get myself lost in it for a very long time, I'm waiting for more furniture. We need some more furniture, more furniture. Give me more furniture. <laughs> I don't want it to be the only thing about NGS, right? Like, NGS is an MMORPG, like it has to have a well-rounded base, like give me combat, give me social, give me creative, like give me things to do, you know? But yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess that's how I felt, I feel about this month's headline, like, well, this month, this, this upcoming month's headline, like, I'm excited for the limited time quest because I like doing the limited time quests and they look fun. Like the quest stuff looks fun. Like the Sonic one is really fun. I, I still do the Sonic one every day when I log in. I like it. it it's fine. I like it. I, I really like the formula of the limited time quest and how they're doing. It's a little less repetitive. It's, it's fun. And I know that I will be doing more of those limited time quests when they come out next week. They're not coming out tomorrow. They're coming out next week. I'll be doing more of those considering that we can farm the the SP tickets and there's good fashion in there and your girl wants fashion. Your girl wants to look cute. So yeah, I'll definitely be doing all of that. I don't really want to be a demo about this, but if the cast parts aren't making me excited about this game, I really don't know what to do. No, I feel you. Like, I feel like a lot of people that play this game is for one specific thing. Like for me, I find the social aspect of this game to be the one thing that keeps me going like if i didn't have friends if i didn't have all the homies to hang out and play with on this game i probably would have stopped playing long ago like if it wasn't for the community that i've got to like know and got to to meet i would have probably stopped playing this game a long time ago because it's it's the like one of the biggest aspects of the game is the community so like, like I said, like when Sega was like, oh, we were going to take more action against people that break the rules. Okay. But if you do that, at least be more flexible, especially with your customer support, because some people, like I said, are getting banned permanently on their first offense. And that, that, that's scary. That like... One of our good friends got like permanently banned and like all of us were hanging out with him that night that he got permanently banned and all of us are just like, so who's next? Like it's, it's scary. And the fact that he, that he can't appeal and he can't do anything about it. Like, I don't like that. I miss Dharma sometimes. Yeah. Like I, I do miss the community that we had as well. And I know that we had a really good community, but like, it's not the end of it. Like we're like, yeah, we're a little spread all over the place, but we're still here. We're still hanging out with each other. And I think that's, that's, what's nice. Maybe one day I'll start my own alliance when I feel like I can actually have a good group of people to support me because the only thing that's really holding me back from like having my own alliance, I would say is that I don't want to do it all by myself. 
when I was in Dharma, when Dante started working, I was shouldering a lot of it by myself, which like, it's not Dante's fault. Like if he was working, you know, he was working, that's fine. But we didn't really have a, like a good support system from the officers and such. Like, I feel like it was very much like me and Dante, like we're doing most of the, the thing. So if I do like start an alliance on my own, which like I'm saying if because I, I don't even know if I want to. Well, I mean, having people in different time zones is would be good because like if I'm unavailable because I'm asleep, but you're online and you're an officer and someone needs help, like you can step in like things like that. So that's. Having different time zone is good, but like, I don't want anyone to feel like, oh my God, like if Yasu makes an alliance, like I have to step up, I have to support her. Like, no, 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 no. I don't want anyone to feel like they're forced to do any of that. And like I said, I would only start an alliance if I know that I can get like a proper support because I don't want to do it all alone again. Like, yeah, we were all of us, we were all hanging out, but... <laughs> Not all of us had responsibility to keep the community going and also school and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I might take another year off of school because, well, like I, I have the disability support to help me at the moment, but like I want to go back to school, if not next year, the year after. But yeah, uh, Enough rambling. Let's let's see what Japan. Okay, so let's see if Japan got anything different than us, because they they often do. Okay, so the anime. Oh, it doesn't seem like they got anything different from us. One sec. Okay, web money. That's nothing new. That that is yeah. Web money is something that is only in Japan. So that's that. I need to figure out dinner. May I bug you? Yeah, I'll be I'll I'll be done in a hot minute. Give me a second, siege. Okay. Okay, so if you get a prepaid card, you get bonuses. Okay, so yeah, that's, there's nothing like special that uh, Japan is getting. Okay. Well, that covers pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about today. Let's see. Who can we raid? Who do we raid? Not sure if I want to jump on PSO. Well, you can check out my creative space. Uh, my first creative space is like pretty much done. I just need to like furnish it. But yeah. Um. All right. Oh, there's a lot of Takashi. There's a lot of like cosplay. Here, let's raid a uh, Glim VT. I've never seen them before, so let's raid them. <laughs> Here, I'll give you all the the raid call. Oh, I should I should work around my bots today because I know that my bots will like mute people if we like spam too much. But yeah, um, thanks everyone for joining me today. Tomorrow we'll be doing more PSO two. I'll be live at 3 p.m. EST. Like, I was a bit late today because I slept in. Uh, that's my bad. But tomorrow, we'll be back. We'll do some limited time quest. We'll play around in creative space. We'll have fun. All right? So, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out today. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to check out the Discord if you haven't. So you can keep track and chat with me. Anyhow, have a good day, everyone, and I'll see y'all tomorrow with some more PSO2.